Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about the Nubuck leather. I've had quite a few questions that have come up a few different times about Nubuck and I just wanted to give you guys some better information on that material. Um, so Nubuck, uh, on all of your samples, I say all of, there are two, um, you should have a purple colored dot on all of your samples. If not, um, shoot me an email or let me know. Um, I've got some corrective stickers I can either mail out or get uh, next time I'm in the stores. I just want to make sure you guys have that. Um, we have those two samples that have kind of that purple color and then your other color dots are going to be that brownish orange color for authentic and then that tealy green color for performance. Um, but for the new buck, it'll have a velvety softness to the touch. Um, like I said, it's all top grain leather and they are lightly buffed to obtain a soft nap. Um, that's gonna be similar to suede, but it is not suede. And we'll talk about that here in a minute. Uh, it's quite a bit more durable than traditional suede. Uh, it's the greatest blend of softness and durability that you'll see in the line as far as that plush feel. And they have that um, velvety feel that'll maintain as long as they're cared for properly. Obviously, if they're not cared for properly, that plushness can mat down. Um, and they do uh, lightly buffing with a brush is what they recommend. So a suede brush um, just to keep it. That's part of the maintenance step. Like I said, there are two colors now in the line. So the Montana Tannage is the only new buck that we currently have. And that comes in that DL159557 charcoal color. And then the DL159574 camel color. Um, if you have the other two brown colors still in your store, please make sure you do pull those. These two are the only current colors. The darker brown, I think it was like a 78 and a 79 were discontinued. So those are no longer available to order. And then, like I said, Newbuck versus suede. So Newbuck is the top grain. So when we have a rawhide, they dehair it and it brines and it comes out as a wet blue. That top layer, uh, that 1% that you see in this graphic, that's what goes into our specialty leather handle, your Krypton leathers, your antimicrobial leathers. It's that 1% that's very exclusive of what we can use in our leathers. Everything else is going to be that next layer underneath that's a little thicker. That's your top grain. We do a crust color dye um, or semi-aniline dye. You may hear it termed that way. And then there are pigments or paints that are sprayed on top. Um, to help give the color and finish look. And that's going to leave any natural markings visible. So in this new buck, you may see some wrinkle marks, you may see bug bites, you may see stretch marks, things like that. Um, and then again, that top outer layer is sanded just slightly to give it that softer suede or velvet effect. And then your suede is actually made from skin that's from the underside of animals, such as lamb, goat, pigs, calves, and deer. Um, so the biggest difference is Nubuck is always, all of our leather is always 100% cowhide. Um, and that's no different with the Nubuck. And that we use as a byproduct of the beef and dairy industries, um, where you can see suede is done from other animals and it's the underside of the hide. So it's quite a bit different in durability and um, just the way that it's constructed on the hide as a whole. And then care and maintenance, um, I did pull this straight from the Lazy Boy website. I've gotten a few questions on customers, what to tell them, how to care and clean everything. Um, and so if you go to the bottom of our website, there's a customer care or customer service icon. You can select that. And one of the options is care and cleaning. Um, and this is the direction straight from that. So you do want to use uh, dry brush to be able to keep the nap, but otherwise cleaning is just going to be Neutrogena or Ivory liquid soap and some distilled water. And that's going to give you a nice clean, let, you know, remaining look on anything. We recommend distilled water so it doesn't leave oil, or I'm sorry, water rings uh, from hard water uh, residue. The Neutrogena and Ivory are pH balanced soap, so that's why we recommend them. Um, they're a bit better for the hide since it is a natural uh, skin. And then Nubuck's liquid resistance. So I think when the Nubuck was introduced, a lot of people assumed it was really absorbent. And still to this day, we have that kind of connotation about it. And I wanted to make sure you guys could see how truly liquid resistant it is. There is still some liquid resistance applied in the finishes. 
Um, and so it's still a very durable leather. And so I thought it would be nice to have you guys watch a couple of videos. Um, I just took a sample here at the house and put some hot tea and coffee on it. So you can see here that it's just the, the camel color sample. Um, I just took the sample I had here at home and it's you know all the way through it's not got a backing on it or anything like that so the same samples you guys have in the stores um, and I just took first a little bit of water um, so you can see how it pools up it does just puddle like it would on an eye clean fabric or um, any other leather that's going to have that top seal in it and then the other liquid that you'll see me apply is a tea now I did this while the tea was hot so it does go through a little bit and when you first see it happen it's pretty dark um, it's a very strong tea. I let the tea bag sit there for a while so it would be a little bit darker. I don't drink coffee, so I didn't have coffee in the house to be able to show what coffee would look like. Um, but I let it sit there for a few minutes so you could see it had time to kind of permeate through the hide uh, cells. Now, most of the time in the home, if you see that you spill something like that, you're probably gonna wipe it up pretty quickly. Um, so I did come back and blot up the liquid with just a tissue a few minutes later here. So you can see where the water is, there's a little bit of a darker circle. Where the tea is, it's, it's pretty dark, um, and a lot of people would probably be nervous about that um, just because of how dark that it is. I did go back with a second tissue just to make sure I had it fully absorbed because it felt a bit more wet. Like I said, I think the hot liquid um, did permeate the cells a little bit more. You can see there's a little bit of a darkening right there where my thumb is, and then so I do have this picture here I took immediately after. I did those um, stain tests. So you can see that none of the liquid came through, um, but it, it's pretty dark on the front side. So I waited a few minutes and then I came back and I did this other video just so you could see what it looks like after it's had time to sit for a few minutes. So the formatting on this is a little strange because it's a shorter video, um, but you can see there's basically nothing left of where those stains were. They dried through. Um, I didn't even go back and clean off where the tea was with clear water. I just let it dry. Um, so you can see that these leathers do have quite a bit of resistance to them. Um, so the links are here. If you guys want to show customers that video, you can feel free, whatever you need to do. I will warn you, the audio is a little, um, just, just background sound, but it came out really loud when you watch the YouTube video. Um, but if there's other questions, please let me know. Um, other than that, I'll have your guys' quiz attached.